I am new to SOLIDWORKS and had my first class at a junior college just a few days ago. I am making this video mainly for me so if I forget how to do something I'll have a video reference but I figure probably there'll be lots of other people interested in SOLIDWORKS. This is 2016 and I'm going to do a left click and you'll see red circles and I'm going to do a right click and you'll see blue. Now I'll have to do another left click which is red circles. This way you can tell which left or right I'm pushing on the mouse. Okay, I hit new. Parts is already there, but I clicked it again. And I'm going to hit OK. All left click. Now it takes a little while for it to load this menu. And we're getting there. There we go. Now we want to start in Sketch. I clicked on it. We're already there, but I'll click on it anyway. And I want to change to inches. So I'm down in the lower right-hand corner. Click on inches. Now we're set. I'm going to click on line. And now, as you can see, that we need to make a choice. I'm going to choose front plane. Now I want a head-on version of that so I'm going to click the front panel here and you'll see that we are right dead on straight. So now I'll start my drawing. Notice that the icon changes when I get over the exact center point here. Now I could draw this in any direction. I just chose to draw it to the left. And I want about four inches. And I want to go up about two. We'll make these exact a little bit later. As you can see I clicked on it again. And I want about one here. Now I clicked on it again. I want to go down about halfway. Notice that these lines pop up. That's the halfway mark. Now here's the end mark. Now I click on that and go down and complete this drawing. Okay, but as we know the measurements are not exact so I went up to the left and clicked on Smart Dimensions, clicked on the line, pulled it down, and now I'm going to type in 4 and click on the green check mark. Now it's exactly 4. Now I want this to be 2. Clicked on the number. I'm going to type in 2 and click the green check mark and this I want one so I'll type in one click on the green check mark now this is going to be three but I'm going to pull it up anyway and click on it and it pretty much tells me that I'm going to mess up if I change it it's already three that's exactly what I want now I don't want to click on it again, so what I'm going to do is hit Escape and it will disappear. Here we have another dimension. I want that to be 1. So I typed in 1 and hit the green check mark. Now you'll notice that everything is black. Everything has a dimension now.
So now I'm going to go to Features, and I'm going to go to Revolved. Click on that. And when I do a, and I want 360, by the way. When I click on that, it comes up and says, I did not declare an axis. In other words, it doesn't know what to revolve around. So I need to go back to sketch. And I forgot to X out of revolved, so I just did that there. And I want the front view again, straight on. There we go. Now I'm going to go up to line, and I'm going to go down to center line. Click on that. Now I could start and make it exact, but I, I want to show what the center line looks like, so I'm going to go out a ways and then go past it on the left and click on it again. Now we have a center line, so when we go back to revolved, it knows where to revolve around. Features, revolve. There we go. Now we've got our drawing, and when I click the green check mark, it'll make it a solid. And that's what we want. Now I'm going to move the wheel on the mouse. I moved that forward and it made it a little smaller. Now I'm going to click and hold down the wheel and now I can move it around. This is really very nice. But I want to also use whole wizard and as I move the mouse around it'll show you the view that you're going to get and this is the one we want the bottom of this drawing so I clicked on it now I'm clicking on whole wizard and it's going to take a little while to bring up that menu the first one's clicked which is what we want, but I'm going to click on the second one to show that it, all you have to do is click on it to choose which one you want. And I'm going to choose one cut that has a shoulder to it. Doesn't matter which one as long as it, you know, has a shoulder to it. And you can change the dimension of the cut. Uh, it happens to be on uh, 3 8 and that's fine, but here's where you can change that. And I'm just looking around here at the other options, and eh, that's okay for this demonstration. Now here, it says we need to click on the plane, so I just did there, and it takes a little while to come up with its bullseye, and notice when I get it right in the center, notice how the icon changes, so we are right dead center when that icon comes up. I'm going to click on that, and then I'm going to click on the green check arrow and voila we have our cut all the way through this is so nice now I just move the wheel forward again and also click down on it so I can move this around so we can see what we just did Now I'm going to click on what we just made, and I'm holding down the shift key so I can bring up the other one. So we'll have both of them here. And now we've got sort of like a transparency that we can see through, which is really quite nice. Now 
And I'm going to click in the white space here and make it a solid again. So this is my first experience with SolidWorks. I can tell this is going to be a very powerful tool and looking forward to learning more. Thanks for watching.